you have any questions with regard to your roles today? Okay, all right. Do you have any questions before we get started? Okay, I'll just, uh, there are uh, supplies are gonna be located directly behind Val. There's a linen cart if you need it and um, other supplies. If you need to make a phone call out to the physician, our phone is actually located right over here on the wall and this would be in a sense like the nurse's station. Okay? All right. Well, we'll go ahead and get started. So if you wanna go outside and come in as though you're coming in to do your morning assessment of your patient, okay? Great, thank you. Hi, I'm James Wright, nursing faculty and coordinator of clinical simulation at Gateway Community College. My name is Ashley Garneau, nursing faculty. And I'm Peter Milanovich, nursing faculty. We hope you enjoyed this short video clip as we demonstrate student evaluation through simulation. At Gateway Community College's Gecko Community Hospital, the nursing laboratory includes low and high fidelity client simulators as well as virtual simulation tools to train, enhance, and integrate student performance and critical thinking skills as they progress in their nursing education. The laboratory emulates hospital and skilled care environments, allowing students to demonstrate competency of content and skills learned in the didactic portion of the nursing program. It provides a setting that maximizes student and client safety and allows faculty to assess the student's comprehension of critical thinking skills. It allows to consistently provide the students with client care experiences that may not be available in the clinical setting. However, are imperative to the critical thinking skills to the future practicing nurse. When was the last time you drank anything other than a little sip of water? Oh, probably yes. Last night. Last night? Do you know about what time before you went to bed? About 8 o'clock last night. In the simulation, nursing students are assessed by the instructor through direct or remote observation or video using the student performance checklist as an evaluation tool. In this simulation, Block 1 nursing students are providing care to a post-operative client who sustained a femoral fracture and underwent a surgical so procedure. Fluids, it looks like. Um, yeah. yeah. How, just a normal size cup you drank at all? The students are being assessed in this scenario for their ability to apply principles of client Hello, privacy, Hello. How are you doing today? Um, okay. client safety, client Let's comfort, Positioning, therapeutic communication oh, techniques. Oh, you're definitely not going to die. We're taking yeah. good care of you, Coming even with, with your uh, doctor. And critical and thinking sure skills. Like, how's that oxygen? You feeling a little better there? Like it's falling off. As well as recognizing existing and potential complications that may arise. Okay, good. Want to make sure we got a good airflow for you. Okay. After completion of the initial scenario, students and instructors engage in a review and performance and dialogue, highlighting the student's ability to achieve the objectives of the simulation. Well, at that point, I was wondering if there was a fat embolism. Very good. Yeah, very good. Very good. Excellent. Very good. So that is always a possibility with large bones. I do, you guys did an, initiate to check the vital signs, however, realized that they were yeah. going to pop up for <laughs> that you. That's cool. why we put the little like, bell yeah. on there for you, so you're like, what's that? Yeah. The utilization of the student performance checklist during the debriefing allows the instructor to highlight areas of proficiency as well as deficiencies which may require remediation. Very good. All right. We will grab the next group. And